Here's our Moscow bureau chief, Bob Zelnick. Bob Zelnick, and I'm a professor of journalism here at uh, Boston University, and my concentration for the most part has been on media law and ethics. Moscow was during the depth of the uh, Cold War. I was there from 82 to 84, when the entire uh, relationship with the Russians was to try to evade their efforts to prevent you from getting anything at all, any information that could make their system look bad, whether it was economic, agricultural, uh, human rights, uh, anything that uh, showed them up for the uh, uh, plotting dictatorship that they were was something they would try to prevent us from acquiring. Uh, and we had to be clever and we had to develop sources uh, and we had to uh, do some shooting that uh, was not always what they wanted us to shoot. Uh, so it was a real challenge telling the true story of Soviet society at that point in time. Pravda is authoritative, but in terms of both telling the news and protecting the public interest, it leaves gaps not filled elsewhere in the system, which appreciates the risks of diversity, but not conformity. Thomas Jefferson wrote that given a choice between free government and a free press, he would choose a free press. The history of Pravda suggests that a society must choose both, or it will have neither. Bob Zelnick, ABC News, Moscow. There are a couple of things uh, that I try to get across in, in law and ethics. Um, the first thing is that uh, the highest form of ethics of journalism is to get the goddamn story right. Uh, you can have all kinds of um, wonderful ethical precepts, but if you, if you don't get the facts correct and you put misinformation in front of people, it's no damn good. Well, the main thing they're going to learn is not to wear cowboy hats during serious interviews. Uh, <laughs>